What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another Best Tweaks video for iOS 13. I got some really good tweaks lined up for you guys in this video. Um, I do want to mention though, if you guys see any tweaks or themes or anything on either my 7 Plus or my 10s Max, be sure to check out the previous Best Tweaks video where I have covered pretty much everything at this point. There's a playlist for all of them down in the description, so like I said, if you guys want to discover uh, other tweaks that are on these devices, check out that playlist link. And another thing I wanted to answer really quickly is one of the most common questions on my channel, and it is where can I get your wallpapers? So many people ask me that. Uh, and I basically just post them all to Telegram. So just download the Telegram app, and then you can follow my, uh, my page here. And like I said, every time I post a video on Telegram, I will post the wallpapers that were featured within that video. So if you guys want these wallpapers that you see in these videos, this is where you're going to get them. Like I said, my Telegram link is down in the description. Alrighty, now getting into the tweaks of this video, the next few tweaks are geared uh, towards Cydia specifically. So they're, they're basically Cydia tweaks. Uh, it's actually been really nice being back with Cydia. Uh, I've been using um, Cilio on the Tennis Max for such a long time uh, that it's actually really nice to go back to Cydia, the OG of the package managers. So uh, the next couple tweaks, like I said, are for Cydia. Let's go ahead and launch it. So the first one I got is called Turkey. And Turkey brings dark mode to Cydia. It's as simple as that. Just install it and it puts Cydia into dark mode and I think it looks really, really good, especially being on iOS 13 that does have dark mode. Of course, you need Cydia in dark mode as well and you can do that with the tweak Turkey. Next up, we have Dismiss Progress. This is a really nice tweak for Cydia. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this package. So normally when you install a tweak through Cydia, um, it will force you to respring your device after you've installed the tweak because that's what it needs to do in order for the tweak to start working. Uh, now, a lot of times you just want to do one tweak at a time or you're doing one tweak at a time and you don't want to leave Cydia yet. You want to, you know, install more packages and dismiss progress puts the close button in the upper right there. So instead of being forced to restart your springboard, you can just click close, go back into Cydia, and continue to install packages. Now one thing to keep in mind is, like I said, in order for that tweak to start taking effect, you will have to respring your device when you're done in Cydia, so keep that in mind, but it's a very handy tweak and it's called Dismiss Progress. Flame is a great tweak for Cydia. It allows you to do quite a few things. Um, first being, you can add multiple repos at once or sources. As you can see, there's normal mode, which is one source or repo at a time, or there's batch mode, uh, which will allow you to add a bunch of repos at once. Now, this would be super handy, especially if you guys wanted to download all of the best repos you can get for iOS 13, which I featured in yesterday's video. Uh, you can copy all those repos and then just install them all at once in batch mode. So that is super handy uh, to be able to do that. You can also click and hold on a repo and you can share it. So if you wanted to post it to like Twitter or send it to a friend or whatever, you have the full share sheet for a repo, which is really cool as well. Um, there's actually some settings to configure with Flame. Let's go ahead and go into settings, go into tweaks, and then we can go into Flame here. So the first page, very simple, just enabled on off, and then you have your options. Now there's a ton of things you can adjust with Cydia. You can change your default page. You can have it be the home, sources, changes, installed, search. So that's very cool. You have pull to refresh, which is really nice. You have disable auto refresh. So that way when you launch Cydia, it won't sit there and reload all of the repos. So you can disable that if you don't want it to do that. Uh, you also have um, your timeout in seconds here. You have hold to share for the sources like I showed. You have... Uh, share and export so you can share packages or tweaks or export them which is really cool and then you have a global tint that you can adjust uh, and then there's a bunch more options here you have a light status bar dark keyboard remove remove the home page ads you have search tab the cancel button swipe to dismiss a whole bunch of options so uh, this is a very powerful tweak to have for Cydia now the last tweak I got for you guys for Cydia is called swipe for more 
And this will save you a bunch of time, especially when it's tweaks or packages that you know you want on your device and you don't want to click on it and have it load up, load you know, the screenshots and all the ads and all that crap. Uh, what you can do is just swipe on it and it gives you a whole bunch of options. You can queue it up to install it. Uh, you can remove it from your device. Uh, you can reinstall it. You can do a bunch of stuff and it's just a very handy tweak to have for Cydia like I said, even from the changes here. So let's say you wanted to install this theme here. You just swipe over for more and then you can queue it up or just install it. So very handy tweak to have. Again, that's called a swipe for more. So when you have a lot of tweaks on your device and you're constantly changing them, um, it's nice to have a quick way to respring your device whenever you want. If you change a tweak or um, you you change anything, basically, if you want a, a quick way to respring, uh, this is a good tweak. Let me back all the way out to the main page of settings here. And then all you got to do is pull to respring. Just pull down on settings and then it will respring your device. Very handy tweak. Again, that is called pull to respring. Color my battery is a really cool tweak if you want your battery to be colored. And what's cool about it is your battery uh, loses life over time. It will actually change its color as it gets less and less, which is really neat. So if we go into settings, go into tweaks, go to color my battery, uh, here are the colors. And as you guys can see, you can adjust all of the colors uh, for the different states of your battery. You have your 91 to 100 percent, 81 to 90. So whenever the battery gets to any of these percentages, it will change the color of it. And as you guys can see, it slowly kind of changes over time. Now, unfortunately, on iOS 13, when you go to click on these to adjust the color, it's not currently working. So that should be updated soon, but it's still very cool to have a battery that does change color over time as, like I said, your battery loses life. So very cool tweak called Color My Battery. Tap Tap Res is a great tweak for the camera application, specifically for video. As you can see, it puts your quality and frames per second in the upper right. And if you want to switch it to like 4K, you just tap on it. Uh, let's change it back to HD and also if you want to change it from 30 frames per second to 60 You just tap on that and it'll change to 60 frames per second So a very handy tweak to have if you guys want to switch between the different uh, camera recording qualities again That's called tap tap res Dark keyboard brings the dark keyboard system wide on your device uh, I installed this because when I was in Cydia uh, since Turkey was putting Cydia into dark mode. It looked really good, but then when I went to search for a package, it was showing the light keyboard, and I thought it looked really kind of stupid to have Cydia in dark mode, but to have that white gray keyboard popping up. So, like I said, dark keyboard will bring that dark keyboard uh, to every application system wide throughout your device. Very cool tweak. Again, that's called dark keyboard. All right, we're jumping over to the 10s Max. Like I said, this is on iOS 12, but uh, this these next applications were tested on iOS 13 and should be working fine for you. Uh, if for whatever reason they don't, just give it a little bit of time and they should be updated. But I wanted to show you guys some really nice applications uh, that you can have on iOS 13 that's going to really benefit you, I think. Um, so the first one is called Crashed. Now this is spelt with a 4 in it instead of an A. I'll leave all of the tweaks and everything I mentioned listed down in the description with how you need to spell them, so be sure to check that out. But uh, I've always used um, Crash Reporter, but I've been liking Crashed much better because it's more simple. Now, basically what this application will do is show you uh, what has crashed on your device and what could be the reason for that crash, which is incredibly useful, especially for a new jailbreak like, the, like it is for iOS 13, when there's a lot of bugs, a lot of bad tweaks, and it might, you know, come in very useful if you guys need to figure out why your springboard keeps crashing or whatever it might be. So um, yesterday I had a springboard crash and I actually figured out what it was just from this. As you guys can see, you can see the full list here of everything. Now, in, if you're not a developer, you're probably not going to understand any of this, but I'll show you where it suggests what it could be. Up here at the top, you have your device information. Uh, and then you have your reason, which is what crashed, and then the culprit, which is the reason for the crash. And as you guys see, I had simple LS2 installed yesterday. It kept crashing my media controls for music on my lock screen. 
and it was super annoying. Anytime that I would have music playing and go to the lock screen, my device would crash, and luckily this application showed me what was doing it, so I uh, uninstalled Simple LS2, and now I no longer have that problem, which is super nice. I have some other crashes here, um, preferences. I had one earlier today. Now, uh, one thing that can happen is sometimes things will just just uh, crash, and there might not be a culprit, but this one has one as well. Preference Organizer 2 was probably the reason for this crash. So a very handy application to have. Uh, there, there's how you spell it at the top. If you guys are wondering, it's crashed with a 4 and not an A, but super useful application to have, uh, especially on a new jailbreak. Next up, we got Apps Manager. This is a great application that allows you to manage all of the applications on your device. You can see how much disk space those applications are taking up. Uh, you can go into it. You have your version, so it'll show you what version that application is on. The last time it was modified, its disk usage. You can find its bundle and its data within FileZa. If you have FileZa installed, you just click on it, and it will take you directly into FileZa to the application, which is super handy as well. Um, you can back it up. You can restore it. You can wipe it. Uh, you have your grouping here. Um, as you guys can see there, it highlighted it for us. Uh, just a very nice application to have if you guys want to manage the applications uh, on your device. And again, like I said, that's called App Manager. Succession is another great application to have. Uh, what it allows you to do is if you have installed just too many tweaks, there's too many packages, you don't know what is causing your device to be laggy and crappy, and if you want to just restore your device, this will allow you to do it and it will allow you to restore to the current firm firmware that you're on. So I'm on iOS 12 as you guys can see in the upper right there. Uh, if for whatever reason I wanted to restore this device just because I've, I've installed too many tweaks and it's just buggy and crappy, I can restore to iOS 12 with this application. Uh, I don't have to update to the newest version of iOS. Just restore it and then start from scratch. Super useful application. Again, it's called Succession. And the last application I got for you guys is called Battery App. We can go ahead and launch it. It gives you a bunch of great information about the battery on your device. It shows its current charge, its current capacity, its voltage, the cycles of the battery, the temperature, and the discharge current. And what's cool is you can actually select on these and it'll give you a little pop-up uh, that will explain further what it is. So as you guys can see, it displays the count of charge cycles. So that is how many charge cycles I have done on this device uh, since I got it. You have your temperature, so it displays the battery temperature. If you swipe over to the right, it just shows your device right there. Uh, but it's just some simple, really nice, useful information that you can uh, see the state of your battery, and it's really cool. It auto-refreshes on its own every 20 seconds, as you guys can see there. Uh, so it is keeping all of this information fully up to date. And it's just a cool application to have. Again, that's called Battery App. Alrighty guys, so those are all the tweaks and the applications I got from Cydia or Cilio for you guys in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks or apps. Again, like I said, I'll leave them listed all down in the description. And again, also if there's any other tweaks or themes or anything on my devices that you guys are curious about, be sure to check out my best tweaks playlist. Link for that is in the description as well. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.